Everyone knows that we Texans have a fashion sense all our own. Here in the big sky country, we've taken our cattle driving history from range to runway. And these days, the Texas fashion phenomenon has spread far and wide. The world is wearing our boots. Rocket Buster Boots of El Paso, Texas couldn't be happier about the world's love for the Texas look. Navina Christie's company makes the most sought after boots in the world. She and her dedicated crew of artisans and craftsmen put the custom in customer, working with the individual client to create a unique, eye-catching boot every single time. I've been here almost seven years and, and things are pretty great. We tend to have really great customers. They're all people I'd want to spend time with and hang out with. And they have really crazy ideas and they get me excited about new stuff. And it's just great. One thing we couldn't understand is how a fashion designer from New York City found herself making cowboy boots in Texas. Well, we should have known. It's just another love story from that West Texas town of El Paso. Well, I didn't start the company. Marty, my other half, did. I was uh, uh, working with Nicole Miller, a New York fashion designer, and I'd been in New York for 15 years. And I met him because I came out here to make boots for a runway show. And he was the only company that was interested in making 18-inch tall boots with dragons and Chinese designs on them. We started dating back and forth, and two years later he said, you know, honey, we moved to Texas, and, uh, and I said, what am I going to do? And he said, you know, I'll give you the boot company. Navina soon discovered that she was a perfect match for the always unconventional rocket buster boots. No doubt it's the personal touch of her artistic hand that makes each pair so special. I learned um, from the guys basically how custom boots are made and it really isn't that different than clothing as long as you pay attention to detail. I enjoy everything about making boots. I mean, I enjoy the customers. I enjoy working on new patterns, but they're, the, the thing I like best is, you know, I love that happy ending. By turning a deserted factory building into a successful business, Navina has done more than her part to help restore downtown El Paso and to preserve the art of custom boot making. Our building uh, is a great old factory building and it just lends itself to everything that we see and collect and drag in here. People love it. It's like a museum. We have a lot of historical boots, boots autographed by Roy Rogers. I mean, we, we like to have fun. I mean, if you got to be at work, why not have a good time? At the end of the day, Navina's proud of the work she does at Rocket Buster. New England seems like a distant memory these days, and she wouldn't have it any other way. You see, this girl from New York City is a Texan now. Texas is the only place for boots like ours. El Paso is the boot capital of the United States and always has been. But out of all the places I've lived, and I've been a lot of places, I went to college in Europe, I lived in New York, you know, I have chosen Texas. So I hope it's chosen me too. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.